In our libraries, we have collected a massive body of history. The brilliant successes and failures that easily catch the historian's eye. But what of the individual human lives that are at the heart and soul of that history? What of the man, the woman, who dreams and remembers, who delights in the birth of a child and fears the coming of the night? What do we know of the ordinary people who lived extraordinary lives and whose story, time, is passing by? In our time, we have an opportunity to preserve this great human resource, to capture and pass on these stories that can teach and inspire generations to come. The Living Legacy Project is a means of collecting, recording, and preserving the defining moments in the individual lives that shaped the 20th century. It is a massive project, requiring a network of genealogists, scrapbookers, photo scanning specialists, photographers, videographers, estate planners, investment advisors, and people like you who know that every single human life has value and has an invaluable story to tell. People like you who know the importance of passing on the treasures of a lifetime, including memories to future generations. We will explore the project and its programs in greater detail, and we will explain how you can become involved in this important work. Hello, my name is Tom Cormier. I am the co-founder of the Living Legacy Project. Now, the plan to save the living history of the 20th century is going to consist of three key success components. We'll cover these right now. Now, the first critical component is LegacyStories.org. That's the project's archive, repository, and the sharing platform, where as we collect these stories, we have a place to put them and to share them. The second component, is our boots on the ground network of certified legacy advisors and they coalesce under an umbrella heritage organization called the International Association of Story Keepers better known as I ask and the third very important component to make this all happen is the legacy matters program this is an affordable and compelling first step service and you'll see why having a first step service is what makes the whole program work. So let's start by examining the archive and repository for the project, Legacy Stories.
grandmother Anna Stepkovic Andriansky, who was born August 3rd, 1884 in Austria. And I only met her once. She made us chicken with rice and she was a diabetic. So she showed my sisters and I how to give herself an injection by demonstrating it in an orange. As you can see from this picture, uh, this is my mother, Christine Webster Wagner. Uh, she was a teacher of fifth grade for many years. Her students, in years uh, to follow, uh, always wrote to her and remembered her as one of their best. Uh, this is a photo of uh, the baby Charlotte, Australia. Uh, she's sleeping very soundly uh, during her first night uh, that uh, she was born into this world. Now let's briefly examine I ask. To really make a difference, we need to unite the heritage industry. This is what I ask does. Now the most important thing we can do for I ask members is to provide them really good top-notch tools and support so they can get the job done. So we've created a certified legacy advisor course. Everybody can get on the same page with this to where they can begin to take full advantage of everything else. Then we provide licensed video presentations. These videos are compelling. We also take advantage of local publicity to help you become the go-to person in your community. And we provide a directory listing in LegacyStories.org for our members. And not all of our experts can provide all legacy services. So it makes sense to build out a referral network in each community. And we do that with you. And the most important thing is the Legacy Matters program. We'll get to that in just a minute. And we provide high quality marketing and collateral materials for you. So now let's talk about the third most important component, and that is the Legacy Matters program. So let me explain how a typical Legacy Matters program works. First of all, you scan five vintage photos of the client, and these five photos may represent five defining moments or periods in the client's life. And then you'd record the client's oral narrative while they describe each photo. Now you can either use the LegacyStories.org direct record feature, or you could use an audio recording device such as a digital voice recorder or other device. Then you take the photo and audio files and you burn them to an archival DVD. The magic of the program happens when you share the URL of the talking photos with the family so that they can participate and contribute their content to it. Now we recognize that in order for this to work, our boots on the ground network has to be incentivized financially. First of all, the price for a Legacy Matters program is around $100. It should take about two to four hours to complete based on your skill level 
experience and your circumstances that are involved at the time. You would keep all $100 of that revenue. Or in the case of senior living residents and elder care facilities, you would receive 80% of those Legacy Matters programs. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. Now for your additional services, of course, you would be billing and collecting 100% of that revenue. And because most people will need to upgrade their Legacy Stories account, we would share 30% of that revenue with you. So now let's talk about the Legacy Matters Welcome Program. Now this is essentially the same Legacy Matters program. The only difference is the Welcome program is designed specifically for seniors who are transitioning into a care facility. And how it works is each new resident is provided the Legacy Matters program, but it's paid for by the facility as a marketing incentive. We provide a nice suite of collateral materials so that it's easy to present this program to virtually anyone. And because the Living Legacy Project is a cause, we can take advantage of enormous publicity and feature articles. We'll start with Family Search, and they'll be promoting to over 4,600 family history centers. So right now, the top bloggers in the industry are beginning to write about the project and try to push it through the genealogy and family heritage world. Our social media blitz is well underway and as our advisors implement the project in their area it allows for local publicity to really take hold to make them the go-to heritage expert in that community and this is being done right now. We'll be creating national and local radio spots to really give support to your area. And now that the Legacy Matters program has been successfully implemented into senior living communities, we'll take advantage of feature articles that will be placed in senior living magazines and publications that go to the directors of these facilities all over the United States. What that means is the first CLAs who have been certified for the Legacy Matters Welcome Program will be the ones who will be assigning to these facilities to get all of that business. We cannot train enough of you fast enough to be in this position. And that's one of our most exciting demands that is upon us and it's only the beginning for this project. So if you're passionate about saving personal histories, and if you're looking for a way to dramatically increase your client base or increase your revenue stream I'm inviting you to join us today in this cause and help us to make history by saving the living history of our time and here's how you can do that just contact your local I ask certified legacy advisor or you can email us at support at legacy stories dot org that's support at legacy stories dot org please do that today